My time at Full Sail was a creative reawakening for me. And with the effort of a close circle of friends, uh, such as Samantha Evans, Zoe Deal, Amber Shumate Dowdy, and Courtney Ferguson, together we became what we called the Dream Team, where we were able to work off of each other's strengths and weaknesses to survive the first brutal year of the workload of the university. By the time we came into the second half of it, uh, it's when we were able to focus on our own individual uh, projects. And so, fortunately for myself, I already had a world that had been pre-established, albeit many years ago. And fortunately, uh, the instructors were very, 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 very generous enough to allow me to revisit my world. And not only that, but also develop Dragon's Bane for a newer audience. And so under the guidance of uh, both Tom Lucas and Simone Carotti, I was able to really flesh out a lot of things that were initially uh, just kind of arbitrary bookmarkers and cliff notes in the original concept of the series. And lo and behold, over the course of my time, not only was I able to re-embrace the uh, passion that was there when I was first writing the series in the first place, but also play upon it as well, too. By following George Lucas's formula for Star Wars and creating a series of prequels taking place initially 30 years before my main story of Dragon's Bane and expanded to newer horizons, including a video game, comic book concept, and even as well to two potential short films. I am Tom Lucas. Um, a many things, but one of the things that I am is a former teacher of William Brower. William was in my class, Developing New Worlds, which is kind of a legendary class here at Full Sail in the creative writing BFA program because it's about world building and research and kind of getting to do what you want. And if you've looked at anything that William has created uh, now or over the years, you know that world building is very important to him. It's a passion for him, and he's good at it. And one of the reasons why William is great at world building and telling stories and creating characters is that he is this incredibly kind, thoughtful man. And that sort of compassion and empathy for others um, has been demonstrated through the uh, many times he's, he's uh, messaged me or talked to me about um, some opportunity coming up or something that he's hoping for for me to see or read or something that he's doing and he's doing with other people and it's just that exuberance that excitement uh, for creating for storytelling for writing but mostly for people that uh, I think makes William uh, an amazing storyteller uh, collaborator creator and uh, someone to watch out for because he has nothing but energy and uh, he's going for it. So check out William Brower. My name is Simone Carotti. I am the uh, course director for Fantasy and Science Fiction at Full Sail University, and I am making this video in support of Willem Brower's uh, work on his on his series. I do, I do feel that I'm a, that I'm a little bit qualified to discuss William's skills in, the, in this in this in this matter, uh, for another reason than that I saw him work within the very subject matter that he is tackling in this in in, in this series um the thing what what i can say about william is well there are several things and they're all positive he first of all he is careful he uh 
he does not leave things um, haphazardly done. Uh, he he make he makes sure he has the details right. He makes sure he has he 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 has a sense of where the elements of the story he's telling go, uh, how the plot is 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 supposed to work, how uh, the characters fit into the plot, and how in turn the plot informs the lives of the of 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 the of the characters. That is a skill that is important in any uh, in in any form of form of fiction, but married to the skill that I'm about to discuss. Uh, makes his work in fantasy and science fiction um, remarkable in my in my eyes, uh, and that second skill is uh, a uh, a good deal of talent for world building. Willem has a sense of how um, world building works and a passion for world building in and of itself that uh, that really make his work come to life. And this is and this is fundamental. I tell my students often uh, in class uh, that it doesn't matter what other characters a fantasy or science fiction story has, there's only one default character and one default protagonist, and that is the world. Because the world of the story, with its own rules, its own alien and strange parameters its own its own peoples its own realities its own uh governments has to function as a cohesive entity otherwise it doesn't work uh the world will feel fake uh and and so before characters even step into it uh the world of a story has to come true has to come real in the in the mind uh, uh of the writer and william is good with that he understands what it means to create a world from nothing to to build to build a place up to to populate it with um, with characters, people, civilizations, and relationships, uh, both natural and psychological, that are uh, that are valid and then and then feel true to life in the sense of of the uh, uh, of of what the story is meant to do and how it's meant to work. Uh, that is a skill that is very important, and 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 William, and William has it, and and has it in a, in a in a, to a very well developed extent. Uh, that's one of the reason of the reasons why he was always very, uh, very good at making a story come to life, even, uh, even just sketching it. He was he was good with that. He 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 his his economy of writing uh, made his words work hard, which was which was also an important aspect of it. Of of the success of his of, of, of his work, so I I am um, I was always very impressed at the quality of what of what he did, uh, and and I and I am very very happy that he is uh, continuing with it with with his work because I I do feel that um, that the public at large would very much appreciate it at, uh, uh, as something that they can that they can watch as a matter as a matter of course. On TV or as, or as part of a web series, whatever William wants to turn this thing into.